Welcome to uh, Facebook Live with uh, The Last Jedi, and I'm, I'm Ryan Johnson, I run and directed it. I'm here with some of my favorite people, Donald Gleason to my right, Hello. the amazing <laughs> Daisy Ridley to Donald's right, and Kelly Marie Tran to, uh, to my left. So we have a uh, Stormtrooper helmet full of questions, and we're going to start asking them. I'll mm -hmm. start off, I guess. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. Okay. First question is, uh, Nick uh, Mamenga, I apologize, Nick, if I massacred your last name, has asked, what makes Star Wars important to you? Um, I grew up with Star Wars. I was a fan since I was four years old, so it's got really deep roots with me. You watched them when you were four? My dad, I remember wow. my dad putting me in the car to take me to see the very first one. I don't actually remember watching it, but I remember I said, where are we going? That's, that's, that's not Very, right. very bad parenting on his part. Yeah, but also bad, really bad press on your part. I know, <laughs> because sorry. You don't uh, remember uh, the movie? No, I don't remember the movie. Uh, well, oh. I was four years old, but I remember I asked him, where are we going? He said, we're going to go see the most amazing thing you've ever seen. Oh, wow. Which is and he hasn't seen it yet. No, he had seen it already, right. so he had vetted it, so it's even worse. It's like, yeah, really yeah. bad parenting. Yeah. What if we just <laughs> sink into a depressed silence now for a little bit? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for like three minutes. <laughs> I think we should dig deep about our I'll take it. <laughs> 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 like, no, watch it. All right, so you do the next question, though, yeah? Go for it. Pick one now, and, and I'll hold on to this. Oh, thanks. Keep saving. <clears throat> Anthony Joseph Arela Arellano has asked, if you could play anyone besides your character in the Star Wars universe, who would you play? Mm. Um, I would play Kylo Ren. Good answer. It seems like a, it seems like a swift answer, but uh, he's... But I think also it's because Adam has made it a really, really cool part. So it would be interesting to see how one would feel if you just read it without seeing it. Would you play Adam playing Kylo? Would you imitate Adam? Oh yeah, that's I a good shout. I would want to see that actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that will be my next, my, Donald, next, my next piece. Donald, who would you play if you were doing I'm actually curious. Um, I take too long in these answers because I think about them like it's a serious thing. Um, I don't. I I'm don't. I'm, I'm happy with the helmet. parts I play. No, I don't. Um, <clears throat> um, I I would go. I would like to have a crack at doing the Chewbacca noise. Okay, well, right now we happen to have some cameras. If you want to have a crack at doing the Chewbacca noise. Wow. <laughs> Kelly, how about you? <laughs> um, I think I'd be Snoke. Snoke. Yeah. Like as a motion capture, like. Yeah, I really want to learn how like to do Andy that. Did. Okay. So awesome. The ping pong ball suit. Yeah. And everything. But also, he's just so cool. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. He's still like big and, and yeah. not so. <laughs> so it's just to feel tall. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a stature thing. As a small man, I can dig that. Who <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who did you say? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Who would you play? Anyone? Who would you play? I would play Ron Bergman. Nice. I would play our producer nice. if I were doing the next one. I'd just eat gummy bears. All okay, day can't look. <laughs> <That's so mean>. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah Capricious has asked, mm. any pranks while on set? I know one big one that you pulled on me. I do remember? too. <laughs> um, so this was at the end of filming. Like we had two weeks or so left. And it was when Pokemon Go was a huge craze. We were all playing it on set. Ryan was playing it. I was playing it. John Boyega was playing it. Never were you playing it? it? No. You never played it? No, you guys were gone. It's awesome. Yeah, it was like the final like, yeah. strip I heard about a couple it. weeks. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We were all getting in trouble because we were it. trying to like find Pokemon <laughs> in like inside. Because oh. it has like the AR thing where your camera is on when you're playing it. And so the poor security woman, Jenny, was running around on the set saying, you can't catch no, them in here. We <laughs> have to go outside. And we were like, we're like, it's a Weedle. Yeah. But who um, puts them in there? It's I never understood it. The Pokemon guys. And then people like, were charging, them. you know. There people was a guy apparently in, in LA who was charging like it was like a really rare Pokemon, and he was charging like Stop. 50 bucks for people to collect a Pokemon at his house or a woman. And oh he, like, 
thousands of dollars. I don't know what's sicker, the fact that he did that, or depending on what the Pokemon was, I might pay. Because I'm still <laughs> playing the thing. You are. Oh, anyway. Um, anyway, so we're playing this game, and um, we're about to shoot, and I remember just saying, oh, Ryan, I just, I got a Pikachu right outside set. And Pika, there were no Pikachu. Pikachu is like Pikachu the is best creature in there. The oh, yellow one. I thought yeah. you'd seen you guy. in the bathroom through your trailer. <laughs> through a, I, think, I got oh, a Pikachu. No. Oh, right oh, okay. Okay. So then, so then he's like, "No, you're lying." I'm like, "No, I'm serious." And John was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah I've seen it. I've seen it." So he runs outside, and I had drawn in chalk a Pikachu on the sidewalk. But I like, oh. like our Jamie, Dude. our first AD, was like <laughs> saying, "No, we have to do the thing." And I was like, "There's a Pikachu." There's a Pikachu. <laughs> it was so mean. Cruelty. That's a good one. Taking this back from you. Yeah. One of my best moments. I've never gone over that. <laughs> that. I guess I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. You never did it. Yeah, do no, Oh, not yeah, yeah, that was very sad. I'll hold the helmet like, for you next yeah, time. Yeah, that's what Thanks. I'll do. Matthew Mullen has asked, did the movie shoot in any locations that you thought, boy, this is going to be rough? Uh, if, the, if the weather in Ireland had have been bad, it would have been yeah. cold and, and very wet and windy. Would still would have been great schedule. though. It still would have just been like great. And the people would have still been wonderful. But seriously, the weather was just <laughs> remarkable. We, remarkable. Do you remember we were actually like sitting out sunbathing in Ireland waiting for Everyone clouds. was sunburnt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were waiting for clouds to mm. shoot in mm. Ireland. Yeah, it was absurd. Yeah. And then I'm pretty sure a rain machine may have had to be. Yeah, we had to bring in a rain machine. <laughs> and yeah. we don't have those in Ireland. We don't we have no call for them. <laughs> yeah. It's called the sky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but that was bad. It's still, that was one of my favorite parts of the shoot, like that time in Ireland. That was just, yeah, it was kind of magical, yeah. Ireland's amazing. And sun. Get there. Get it. Get it. Thank you, Daisy. Donal, you were so amazing in the film. <laughs> and are you single? It's so nice. Um, so, uh, <laughs> it says lightning. Oh, it's a lightning round. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, I've messed that up you right off the bat. I've taken so long <laughs> over the <laughs> lightning. Um, uh, sunrise or sunset? You. It's your question. Oh, man. Come on. Quickly, lightning, lightning. Sun. <laughs> lightning, go. <laughs> lightning. It's lightning. Come on. Um, this is slow. No, because I was thinking, do you mean like I lightning? I understand. Like, like, you were like, like, sunrise or sunset? Or I lightning at sunset would be better. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> the judges will accept it. <laughs> I'll go sunset. Okay. okay. Sunset. Sorry. Sunset. Uh, yeah. Sunset. Sunrise. Sunrise. Sunset. Sunrise. Wow. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are we doing more? <laughs> yeah. Let's do another one. Sure. Until someone starts waving frantically at me, we'll just keep, keep <laughs> Daniel answering. Daniel Wesson has asked, who introduced you to Star Wars and what made you a fan after watching? J.J. Abrams? Just kidding. <laughs> um, but it's sort of, though, because I, you know, I had an awareness of it and I'd seen them, but I wasn't, like, introduced to the Star Wars thing mm. um, because it wasn't really in my family and it seems to be a very big family thing. So I will say J.J. Abrams. What made you a fan after watching? Um, I think mm. the same thing that makes everyone else fans. I mean, I know everyone has their own sort of uh, separate things, but it's a beautiful story in a fantastical location. And uh, radical really cool characters. That's a great answer. Cool. answer That's a very solid answer. Take a page. You take a page. Cause I thought you meant the thing. No, <laughs> no, 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 off you go. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I'm way behind. <laughs> You're doing good. Yeah, thanks. No, I'm going to be okay. This is what it's like on Seven Valley. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> You're going to be all right. Marshall Madison <laughs> has asked. These names are cool. Marshall know, Madison is a cool name. Did you always want to be in the movie industry, or was it a surprise? Um, I always wanted to be in the movie industry. I think it's a surprise that I am in it. <laughs> if that makes any sense. That's a very good answer. Yeah. yeah. Top quality answer. <laughs> Feels similar. All right. Let's see what we got. Joe Sweeney has asked, "What's your favorite flavor? Favorite flavor of potato chip?" Ah, ties back to Ireland. Potatoes. Oh, good. I thought just because of potatoes. potatoes, and I was going to get really, <laughs> yeah, really angry. Really, angry. really just punch me down, yeah, yeah. which would then be another. Potatoes. Good call. Did we get some boxes of them? We did. Boxes and boxes of them. Yeah. We had them on set yeah. of potatoes, yeah, yeah which is an Irish brand of potato chip that is delicious. Cheese and onion, they're amazing. And onion. I think they claim that they invented the cheese and onion flavor, but that can't be true. Well, it could be. Tato. 
Oh, Tato. Mr. Tato. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't think it's true. <laughs> Do you want to know something that's really hard being a vegan? Huh? Most salt and vinegar. I became a vegan this year. Most salt and vinegar crisps have milk in them. Mm. How do you survive? Why would you, why, why would you need milk? I know. Right. Again, I'm slowing things down, but why would you need milk for salt and vinegar? I have no idea. They're your people. It's the vinegar part. We didn't invent salt and vinegar. We uh, invented salt and vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> no responsibility. Doug Hartshorn. Hartshorn. They're like Harry Yeah, they're awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Has asked, what is your favorite Star Wars memory? Well, I am in a very uh, privileged position to have been in the Star Wars films. So I, I would just say making them generally. I don't have anything to do with uh, any of the rest yeah. of it. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, it being on the so sets and being with amazing people, amazing actors, like... That's why you want to be in the movie industry, right? Yeah. Oh, I got emotional so listening to that. That was an answer. answer. Oh, I pulled it out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> Lightning. Ah, Coffee or tea? Ah, tea. Coffee. Tea. Tea. Whoa! Oh, oh, so no. <laughs> 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 I it's it's like do they mean now? Do they mean now? Do they mean in general? I need coffee. I that was coffee. like in Monty Python, the Holy Grail. <laughs> no, no, blue. <laughs> Back to you. Okay. What is this? You? Is no, it me? Too, okay, too. okay, okay, okay. Right, right, right. uh, what are you doing with your things? Abel Yoon has <laughs> asked, what is your favorite thing about shooting a Star Wars movie? It's the actors. It's working with you guys. It's, it's every single one of the actors in this movie. Present company vastly included. Huh. This was absolutely the best. It was wonderful. It's turning Ryan. emotional. Thank you, Ryan. Guys, we're getting all emotional now. I know. I'm just leaping fully by the end. I just circled. never really got to say goodbye. I circled back to our really father. <laughs> David Greiner has asked, does Luke smile in The Last Jedi? I love how you're hiding that. I know. Ryan. I know. <laughs> Um, can I answer this? Can you answer this? I'm gonna pass you, this to you. you this probably is to you can't, answer it. Right? Yeah, you I think literally you, you can't because you haven't. Yeah. Does Luke smile in the Last Jedi? Hmm. Claim yeah. technicality and just in the making of the movie. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I guess. No, I don't think this gives away anything. Yeah, you get a little bit of a Luke smile in it. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I'm glad. It's like what has made Luke so what cool? What is he? <laughs> <laughs> I love him. A smile. Look at him. Happy now. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting the, the signal. So, oh, okay. but we're gonna take a, basically we're taking a break. I feel like Dick Cavett right now. We're gonna take a oh, little nice. break. Oh. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna take a little break. But please stay tuned because we are going to be back with more of this ridiculousness very soon. That was really like Dick Cavett. That, that was really good. Yeah, 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 that was excellent. Now a word. 